Hello everyone. Thank you for giving us your time. We are very pleased to have this opportunity to present a summary of our work together over the past few years. Huge thanks to EFMD judges for considering us for this Excellence in Practice Silver Award, which we are very proud to receive. Presenting our case today, we have Sally al Naqshabandi, Head of ICRC Humanitarian Leadership and Management School, from now on referred to as HLMS, Michael Gams, one of our senior faculty members at Holt Ashridge Executive Education, and myself, Trudy West, a Professor of Practice also at Holt Ashridge, working with the HLMS for the last five years. The ICRC is an independent, impartial and neutral organization, ensuring humanitarian protection and assistance for people affected by armed conflict and other situations of violence. It takes action in response to emergencies and at the same time promotes respect for international humanitarian law and its implementation in national law. Founded in 1864, the ICRC headquarters is in Geneva, Switzerland, and it works in more than 80 countries, employing more than 20,000 people. Holt Ashridge Executive Education aims to be the most relevant business school in the world, helping organisations to improve their leadership talent, strategic thinking and organisational culture since 1959. We are a triple accredited global business school operating from seven campuses, virtually and at client sites around the world. The HLMS is building inclusive, authentic leadership at all levels by developing leaders who deal with humanitarian challenges in an effective way. Its purpose is to contribute a new transformative and inclusive leadership culture in the ICRC, bringing together diverse leaders from across the organisation to learn with and from each other. HLMS aims to break down silos across the organisation and create space for more meaningful collaboration. ICRC leaders are required to bring together diverse teams to effectively deliver the organization's humanitarian mandate. The ability to form and lead these teams effectively relies on them being able to work inclusively across these differences, laterally as well as vertically. This required a transformation in leadership practices, mindsets and behaviors to create a new truly inclusive leadership and people culture, and is a strategic priority for the organization. To stay relevant in a crowded space, and while working with people affected by war and armed violence, it is a critical requirement for their leaders to reconcile solid execution whilst dealing with emergence and complexity. ICRC selected Ashridge as a partner due to their focus on the human, interpersonal, and reflective approach to learning, teaching, and research, which is aligned with the ICRC vision and goals related to transforming the leadership culture. Ashridge were also chosen for the capacity to partner and work through any tension through listening and adapting. The three-module program aims to develop strong and passionate leaders who manage, empower, and inspire a diverse and high-performing workforce. The main focus of the content has been on the balance between the how of leadership and not just the what, which requires to shape attitudes, mindsets, and behaviors across the whole organization. ICSC and Ashridge facilitators both design and deliver the program together with a joint commitment to leverage the best of corporate and academic research in practice in a way that fits the ICSC humanitarian context and stimulate staff to apply their learning on the job. In terms of design and structure, each of the three modules consists of three successive phases. Distant learning, the ongoing nudging and support of the participants has been instrumental to ensure suitable preparation ahead of the program. A five-day program of experiential and peer learning, exchange and reflection, and this is what participants really appreciated, is partly the chance to work on real-life leadership challenges in small groups. And finally, the work-based learning, which consists of applying learning skills to transfer into the reality of the workplace, namely through personal reflection and essays. With regards to the content, Model 1 focuses on authentic leadership, embracing innovation and exploration in parallel to running operations. Model 2 is about being inclusive, inclusive leaders, understanding psychological processes in teams, and driving performance through engagement and collective accountability. And finally, model three 
is about strategic thinking, leading change, and partnering across the organization. Pre-COVID teaching was delivered in Kenya, Jordan, Thailand, Senegal, as well as Switzerland. Last year, the program has successfully transitioned to a fully virtual platform and has grown to become a truly global blend program. The initial design principles of experiential exchange and reflection-based learning have been translated into the virtual format. It's worth mentioning that evaluations post-program reflect a positive rating of the virtual experience by the participants, significantly above expectations. That said, most learners report missing being with others and especially the informal exchange between the sessions. The key outcomes from this partnership are that HLMS participants now reflect more accurately the rich diversity of the ICRC people. They have an increased understanding of themselves, how to approach challenges, their leadership impact on others, and the capacity to challenge their assumptions. We found greater courage on many levels, including intentionally stepping out of their comfort zones and taking risks with new ideas. We also found that behaviours have improved around effective collaboration, relationships, and breaking down silos. Both the HLMS teaching and its alumni have contributed to creating a new leadership culture and has influenced many key strategic changes and initiatives. HLMS brings together people from across the organization, breaking down silos and enabling more effective collaboration. It unites people through a common leadership language, attitudes, behaviors, and mindsets, as well as providing transformative tools and practices. It creates a network of leaders across the organization that contribute to a wider organizational transformation. Transfer of learning evaluations have demonstrated that leaders who have participated in the HLMS have effectively invested in their, their efforts in building trust and collaboration in continuous learning and adaptive change on a personal team and organizational level. The HLMS is creating impact culturally and behaviorally in both anticipated and unexpected ways. The program is helping to support ICRC in its performance for the future through the development of relevant leaders in the evolving humanitarian field. The program has now been accredited to support an optional ongoing journey of a master degree in humanitarian leadership from the University of Lucerne. Participation in the HLMS program is now an essential commitment for leaders in the ICRC and a prerequisite for senior management positions in the organization. Demonstrating the importance of these teaching in shaping the leadership practices of the organization. The leadership culture and practices the HLMS is building in the ICRC is not just on an organizational level. Most of the participants highlight the bigger impact it had on them in their personal lives and in their roles in society. The program is evolving alongside other major transformations in the organization and the context the ICRC is undergoing and continues to accompany these transformations in the most effective way. The development of our people continues to improve our ability to help those affected by conflict around the world. Thank you for your time and we look forward to discussing with you further.